is up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can edit smoother in Premiere Pro. To be honest, editing smoother is a lot simpler task than you think it is. Because all you need to know is to know these three basic things. Starting off with the first one and that is moving the window to the top. So, as you guys can see this is just a linear animation with just linear keyframes. You can spice this up by simply right clicking on these animations and you can select any easing options that you want. But for me personally, I don't like to use these options. I would rather use the graph because it gives much more control over the animation and how the velocity of the animation need to look like. If you just click on this arrow right here, you can access the graph and from there you can edit it. Just highlight these animations and click on one handle and pull it downwards. And from there you can change the velocity depending on the animation that you're going for. So how I can make it smoother is I just need to pull this handle towards my left hand side. So what this will do, it will go fast in the beginning and it will slow down at the end and it will look something like this. And as you guys can see, these are the most free usable graphs you can use in your edits. Of course, there's plenty of methods on changing this graph according to your preferred speed and liking and all the look that you're going for. And next always use the transform effect i mean of course you probably use this effect for most of your animations but it is also true that you can animate all the properties which is available in the transform effect with the default motion settings in the effects control panel but with the help of the transform effect you will get much more control and convenience for the properties when animating and also you will get extra features like enabling motion blur which will make your edits a lot better so here's the question that you might be getting why do we need to use the transform effect and why is so useful and one of the benefits of using this transform effect the first one is of course the motion blur and the second one is the next basic step and this is probably the most creative powerful and the easiest step to make your edits a lot smoother and this is the secret source for literally every smooth edit that you see in the internet so without further ado the thing that i'm talking about is overlapping yeah let me ask you two questions if you use the transform effect how much keyframes do you add to a single transform effect and the second question is how many times do you use the transform effect in a one single layer to animate so for me personally i tend to add a lot of keyframes to a single transform effect and i try to animate all the properties in a one single layer and if i want more keyframes i add all those keyframes into that one single transform effect and if that's you if you do all the keyframes animations using a one single transform effect then this is the main reason why your edits don't look smoother because you cannot overlap keyframes if you use a one single transform effect but if you use multiple transform effect you can actually overlap keyframes so here's how you can actually use the transform effect to make your edit smoother so let's say that i want this layer to come in and go so this is how i would animate in the first place i would add a transform effect i would keyframe it in the beginning and in the middle and at the end so which means there are three keyframes so in the beginning i will move the layer out of the screen and in the middle it will be in the default position and in the third keyframe it will go out of the screen again and then i will just use the graph to make this edit smoother and also enable motion blur. and this is how it looks but now let's add two transform effects so first i will add one transform effect and i will animate the in animation which is two keyframes if i add another transform effect and i keyframe the position and then i use the graph to make this smoother and then i can overlap keyframes so now if i play this back as you guys can see this is how that looks you guys can see because i overlap the keyframes there's no harsh stop in between the animation which makes this edits smoother all these animations look smoother because they don't stop in any way all the time just keeps moving there's something happening in the screen which is why they look smoother so if you want to make your edit smoother you just need to make sure that the layer is moving all the time and how you can do that is by overlapping keyframes so basically that is all the things you need to know to make your edit smoother in Premiere Pro. Make sure to use the graph and get familiar using it and use the transfer effect only for a maximum of 2 keyframes. And of course make sure to overlap the keyframes and use multiple transfer effects to do that. And yeah that's it guys and there will be much more valuable content coming up soon so anyway bye see you.